Hey everybody, alright we're back, um, as you can see a few things changed, I wasn't really happy with, I was kind of, the last segment ran long, I realized that I may edit out some bits of it, um, but I have this more or less, you know, completed, and I'd like, you to, sh like to show it all to you, um, I'm gonna pretty it up a bunch once I'm done, and you're not gonna be able to see all these things hanging on the sides, but for now I want to get the barn done, but the coop should be ready, and I'll give you all a demonstration. Um, I think it up still. And after I demonstrate, I'll show what I've done. Because <clears throat> while there wasn't a lot of time, there's been some significant alterations. Alright, so. Um, also, as a side note, uh, at a later date in time, right here, I'm going to be putting in this block. I'm going to be putting in a dispenser, which will be full of eggs, and it'll attach up to a clock. And I will be able to force spawn chickens. Right. I hope a chicken spawns without me using a too many eggs. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. Cool. And I'll get more from my other one later. Alright, this one, um, as a note, you're not going to see it cook because it's a baby and I'm about to murder a baby chicken. Um, I'm going to go back in some more eggs and hopefully some more chickens to spawn and then I can load this thing up. If I get two chickens, I can load it up, actually, I guess. Right. So, as it stands... Oh, also I'm expanding the walls out inside of this thing. I ended up being pretty wide. So, as it is, the chicken is floating on the water very nicely up there. Um, turns out these weren't even necessary because of the way I have the water. Well, I guess they're kind of necessary. Anyhow, so when I flip this switch right here, what's going to happen is... Pistons up top all go up, the water stops flowing, and the chicken comes down. When the chicken comes down, you take your flint and steel, you walk up and you go, Is that a little chicken? And chicken dies. And um, if it's an adult, it would drop its items and they'd be fully cooked. The chicken can knock it out because of the piston, and then the water begins to flow again. Yep. And I'm going to have this uh, wired... Ooh, there's a block that needs to block some I'm going to have it wired later so that, um... Essentially, when I press that button, um, er... Hmm, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have it wired so that when I when I make the decision that uh the eggs chickens. When I decide to I can press a button, it'll activate a temporary clock, uh, at which time it'll spawn like a zillion chickens, and then I can turn it off. And then I can harvest the chickens and then you know, I wish you could move uh dispensers with pistons, and that way I wouldn't have to ever walk anywhere, but Oh, shoot. Come on. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna wait some time, I guess. Um, in the meantime, let's go read these little buggers, and I guess we'll start working on the wall. Um, as I've mentioned a few times, those videos were running way longer than I intended. I realized the last segment was like 15 minutes, and I was just. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this thing. Oh, I'll show you how it works in a moment. Um, so, I, I'll see how we edit it out. I'll see what's interesting. Um, I don't wanna, like, you know. I'm not show you guys necessarily thing, or don't want to miss out. Ugh. Don't want to leave out things, but you know, I can only record so much video. Um, all right, so how this thing works. Now I can't really get inside the machine, but this right here is a switch, obviously. Um, this is inverted, so when I flip that, it turns that out. Um, and then, but that's really you know, that's the obviously the simple part. The all of it's decently simple, I imagine, except for the butt switch. That's really important. So up here, the switch is hooked up to these. These are hooked up to pistons. Inside that block right there, or, yeah, that block right there, there's a water source. Or, no, sorry, it's like right above there. It's right up there. It's a water source. When the switch flips, it depowers, or depowers these, which powers these, which turns those up, which cuts the water source, which makes the chickens fall. And we have them on every single side. I'll go inside. As you can see now, there's water, you know, up there where the baby chicken is, uh, but when I hit those pistons, the water stops flowing and the chicken falls down into the flexion area. Um, this area also seconds as to, I figured out how to get the water flowing finally, it all pushes the middle perfectly. Items drop here, chickens drop here, and I'll pick the items, and it will pick up the chickens, I just burn them, just, this will be in the way, hit that, and it automatically burns quickly and then resets it. So, <clears throat> this will be my little food place, um, I'm looking forward to getting that running should be pretty cool. Um, in the meantime, I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I plan to have the other part of this area for sheep and cows. I'm going to 
have them in little holes over here. Um, let me just kind of, um, I need to clear these walls, however. And I need to do some sizable renovations because these stick out pretty far, and so the walls are going to have to be at least one further. Um, hadn't originally planned that, but you know, what you're going to do? Life gets in the way sometimes. Um, as you've all seen the design, I figure I'll have plenty more to record. Um, and I'm trying to keep people entertained so they'll, you know, <laughs> stick around and watch. Um, as a result, I'm going to, as a result, <laughs> anyhow, I don't think people really want to see me build them, so I'm going to start working on that off camera. I just, <laughs> I don't know if it's kind of weird. I think that, um, I think that there should be a block like after it. I think it looks weird otherwise. I don't want to transform this quick too much. I really want to work with the natural scenery. Oh, I'm out of soil. Awesome. That's just that's just dandy. Um, but I hope you all like the chicken thing. I might you know, turn that into an episode. I think that's a pretty good device. I know there's another like it. Um, it's not you know, exactly original, but. I like my design. I got the water flow thing. I think that's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> when I put in the dispenser, I think that'll make it pretty unique. I have a cool little device to turn uh, a nice little pulse on and off that sustains itself. It doesn't burn out. Alright, so I figure... And, oh, this isn't even new one. This is, this is set. Alright, I figure I'll get this up for you all. Um, Alright. I'll be back in a moment. Whoops. Hey there, everybody. All right, we're back. Um, I got some pretty major work done on the barn, but, you know, I need to take a break from it, so I decided um, we'd build a pathway, and then I'd start recording in for a minute, and then after this, I'll finish this farm up. Um, as you can see, it's coming together pretty well. I think the design's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be putting sandstone here along the columns. Outside will be stone. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out a roof design, but I think these walls are going to look, like, they're already looking pretty cool, and once the whole thing's done, it's going to look crazy. Uh, is the chicken coop as you've seen? <laughs> I, uh, threw an egg up here, and I caught a quad chicken, believe it or not. I wish I had it on camera. I did not know that it was possible. I haven't gotten any chickens for a while, threw one, and four came out. Um, anyhow, in this area right here, I'm going to make another deeper. Uh, this is where the cows will live, and there's going to be exactly this mirror on the other side, and that's where the sheep will be. Um, but for the meantime, let's get this path going. I haven't exactly planned it out, so this will be a little do-as-we-go kind of thing. But, um, let's see. So, I need you right now. So, I need you. So, yeah. I've, uh, I've had a pretty good time building these pathways. Um, kind of a neat new design to work with, and I was... I always enjoy building something out of it that I haven't put up before. Um, but I'm doing a lot of these kind of things around here, so if anyone has any suggestions, things of that sort, feel free to submit them to me. I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of, we're kind of going it right now. I'm pretty, this is a pretty new game. Still fresh, a few hours old. Ooh, that's not good. And, uh, I mean, uh, I need to go to the nether. I don't, I haven't gotten the nether yet, but diamonds. Need to make a trip to the end, um, all that, and of course more redstone. How could you know, how could I not have more redstone? That's you know, that's the whole point of it. Um, ideally, I'd like to find um, a fortress and then be able to make a. Oh, looks really nice. <clears throat> have a little minecart track that goes there and build one of my. I think that's what people like the most for me, anyways, is my minecart tracks. So build one of those. I think I'm going to build this out a bit first. So it hooks in properly, otherwise it's a little awkward. Um, I don't know this kind. Don't always want it that tall. I don't want to make it taller, do I? No, I'm pretty content with the height as it is. Alright, I'm just going to have the... I think this works. Yeah, the stuff that comes in. Anyhow, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I've, um... I haven't put up a video, you know few months now, and I've got just a lot of new stuff to put up, or not stuff to put up, but just, you know, I have new ideas, new things I've built in the meantime, um, I've gotten better with redstone, so it'll be cool to implement some of those things, and 
don't know how that happened. Um, but for now, you know, I don't know if I've mentioned, I, I think I've gone over most stuff with the server, but you know, or this game, but it's 100% legit. Uh, I'm getting everything by hand. Uh, it's going to be pretty build focused. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know, just good old fashioned. LP. Alright, now how do we want to handle the situation? They're obviously going to just jut out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make them like this. And then I don't, I'm going to put a half slab underneath them. Right? So they're going to be these half slabs or the other half slabs. Now, these look like that. Kind of give it a cool effect. And these look like crap, which don't look give good effect. So I think I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to build support columns going down. <coughs> I don't know, it gives it kind of a neat little width to it. Um, I'll play around with it some more. But, what else? Hmm. Oh, right, I decided, to, so this is so ridiculously tall, and at first I thought I was just going to make a little spiral, spire for it. But, I don't know, that doesn't, <coughs> I think that that's probably would look awkward, and that's not what I'm trying to go for. So, I made the decision that, since I will need crops at some point, I can make another four there, and basically it's going to be where I'm going to have plants. And I'm not going to, probably going to, I'll put an automated system in, but nothing too crazy. Um, I'm on, I've been playing online a lot before, or recently I guess, and um, in those, like, I used a lot of, like, automated melon farms with, like, bud switches, but, I don't know, like, you, you eat so often with those that it just, I can't really see the point. It's kind of a shame. Um, what else? I'd really like to get an EXP farm going soon. I, uh, just the other day, I, or not the other day, earlier today, I found my first spawner, cave spider spawner, but I mean, it's really not that great of XP. I can probably hold out for a while. I mean, I figure as soon as I go to the end, I can kill a dragon my first go, um, which is pretty easy, all in all. But I just have to get there, which is the thing. So far, I've only gotten one pearl, and I mean, it means on top of that, I have to go find... Boys rods, oh boy. But and you gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, I'm gonna go make more of those. Or I have more just to get the base. Ooh. I'm glad that I've smelted all the stone. I've had problems in the past where I just haven't had stone ready on like a lot of occasions. And it's just such a pain to get like large quantities of stone and get my furnace is going. I think that might have been the first thing I did once I started setting up a temporary base and just started <laughs> smelting stone. Well, so I got pretty lucky. I found a slime uh, slime chunk that's right underneath the space, so I'll make a slime farm at some point. Uh, that should be pretty cool. I haven't seen many videos for those, and so those are always helpful. And then until you get like a thousand slime, and then you're just like, I wish I didn't have any more slime. They're so annoying. But beggars can't be choosers. Um, real quickly, I'm going to show you guys the other side of the mountain, since I said I was going to give a tour. It's, I mean, if the, you guys are going to be looking at this world, it'll be pretty interesting. This stuff right here, it's all kind of there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fill this in and clear this down and expand this gazebo. I think it's kind of cool. It's not really practical. Oh, also, um, let me know what you guys think about these archways. I like them, on one hand, but at the same time I feel they're kind of awkward. Like, I think the squares are cool, but at the same time I feel like they're not, I don't know, like something about the shape just throws me off. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool, like, straight cliff face. It goes like down to the ocean. Sorry for my view distance being so poor. It goes down there, right? And, um, I don't know, I think that's what I'll... It goes to an ocean. I think that I'll probably expand my base off that way, and that's where the rail farm will be. And then I'm going to have my mine entrance come down this way, and this is going to... Ooh, I should never do that. This is going to branch to the right, so... Now that you reminded myself, I'm going to make sure that I give myself room to go to the right. <sighs> so I'm just make a straight curve. <laughs> what else? Yeah, um, I don't know. It'll be nice to... I'm really looking forward to getting the end going. I just, like, made my, uh, first legit ender farm a couple weeks back, and I tell you, it gets you 1 to 50 in, like, 15 minutes if you do it right. It's pretty crazy. It's... <laughs> it's hard to do any other farm again. Like, you go from a single cave spider taking two hours to an ender farm taking a couple minutes and you just use your fists and you, you're like, whoa. I, um, uh, might be hard to go back. 
what else? There's been some other interesting changes since I've played. Um, I mean, I guess I haven't made a video since Enchanting came around. So there's that. Now we actually like want EXP for once. For figure. Um, jungles. I'm not a big fan of the jungles. Really, I don't know. I find it... it just, there's so many mobs. And they're just so hard to get through. There's something very great about them. I, um, I had a really big issue on the server finding snow biomes. I started off by one, and I got lucky enough to get some saplings from there for dark wood, but since then I haven't. I right, just... <laughs> There's the dogs on timeout. No, 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 no. no, no. You, you do your time. That's a good dog. <laughs> um, I plan to change these doors and actually have, like, uh, automated double switch so I don't have to... Actually, I think I'll do pistons. They look cooler, like from the floor, like double piston rise. Um, because, I don't know. I'm going to redo this whole thing. I'll add a basement, and I'm probably going to expand the roof, and then I'm going to make the walls prettier. I made that within, like, the first 45 minutes of playing, just to have a little place to live in. And, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this down to about this level. I think I'm going to get rid of all this dirt, and it'll give you a much better view of this, because, I mean, I put all this work into it. You might as well see it. I also figure out the sloping way so it looks a little elegant. Um, I'm really looking forward to also when I can get some decent amount of chickens in here. I should breed them. Because then I can do a kill. I think it'll be really cool to show a kill. I'm an adult chicken. It's almost night time again. I'll go to sleep. Alright, alright, let's get this done. But, um, yep, I hope people enjoy watching these. Uh, <clears throat> right. YouTube, I don't really know the timing right now. They, I, like, my first video was, like, 8, because I would have prayed they would be doing the, uh, the old thing with, like, a 15-minute cap, and then my other segment, like, uh, was way too long, and it would be kind of weird just to kind of short like that, and I was, uh, I was on the fence, so I put on 8 and my next one, I was like, oh, wow, this is 20. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. And for some old reason, they just only put up a 20. Like, I don't know. It was over 20, actually. It was 20, 50 something. So I'm not really sure what the cap is right now. Someone could let me know for non um, contractual partners, or whatever the hell they call it, how long the cap is. Because I remember my old video cap was a lot shorter, and I ran into problems because some of my tutorials got kind of lengthy. Uh, what else? Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys some of the new redstone stuff. I've that's pretty good before, but oh my goodness, I've made that mistake about a dozen times. But now it's a whole different ballpark. We're in for some cool stuff from some good people. <coughs> oh, also, it's going to be really imperative that I get to the uh, to Nether so I can get some uh, glowstone finally. Like, I mean, I could use pumpkins, but I don't know. it's a pain using. Wow, I'm just <laughs> not making this easy on myself. Speaking of which, I'm going to need to make a way up here. This is... Alright, it's getting ridiculous. Come on, get your stuff together. Alright, um... This comes in here. Uh, I'm going to make more tools when I take my next break from recording. Because... I hate not having a shovel. I hate it. It's just, I can't stand it when make videos and they... They basically just knock every dirt block out with their fist. I mean, or their... Oh, God forbid, their sword. That's the worst. Wow, that's not right. There's nothing worse than someone knocking out... I mean, is there... If you're not on the stone one there... I feel like this one's... It's peculiar. Oh, it goes 2-2. Two, two. Okay, that makes sense. I was looking at my own design and like, questioning what I had been doing. That's never good. And you get to a point and you're like, um, I feel like this whole thing is off by one. <clears throat> you know, we were making a uh, recreation of the Hang Gardens of Babylon on a uh, online server. And we had made a we made it a legit build. And um, for those who aren't familiar, Hang Gardens of Babylon were um, just a very ancient structure, regardless of one of the wonders of the world's. One of the world, and uh, it's pretty big, sizable, nice place, <laughs> real classy joint. And uh, 
we built this massive pyramid forest, just obscene, like 200 by 200. And it turns out we had one wall miscounted by one and had to take down half the structure to resize it. Oh my goodness. I was not quite happy with my friend for doing that. But we got it done in the point. If I had better connection online, it would be cool to put up a video just so people could see something nice. I think people like that. Ooh, this worked out really well. Look how, look how smooth that transition is. Class. Um, hmm, I don't know about that. Oh, wait, we do double staircases every time, aren't we? Double staircases it is. <coughs> you know, that building right there will look pretty cool. And only building all my buildings out of stone. I think people are going to go forward to that. And that's not what I want. I'm going to get a sheep farm going too, so I can get the wool that I need. Because, you know, wool's the best. Basically, just turn it into anything. My favorite. This. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Like that? Yep. And then. Over there. Alright, and I need the underside. <coughs> because. Yeah, it's gonna be what that was. Great, I think I've shown enough of. Well, I'll, I'll finish building this part off. I'm gonna build this one. The descending staircase. Let's see, this is looking pretty nice. This is not not bad at all. I need to add a little lighting, unfortunately. We should have. Ooh, still looks pretty nice. Um, Alright, I think I'm gonna get some more work done. I'll build this one downwards. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. It's gonna be stone on the way up, but I'm not, I'm not sure I feel about that. Hmm. Oh well. Um, I gotta build this down, and then I will continue from there. Alright, see you guys in a few. Hey there everyone, um, just quickly want to say it looks like I'm at my time limit, so that'll be the end of this episode. Um, next episode I will continue on with the construction of that, you'll probably see that finished up, I'll begin the second floor, I'll put animals in and all that. In the meantime, please let me know what you think, um, I mean I really need feedback, I'm about to sound desperate, no, I just need feedback to know what everyone's opinions are, see what I should do, continue on, so forth, yada yada. But I hope you all enjoyed, um, until next time.